The Path of a Self-Liberator Introduction from Vanu, A Strategy for Self-Liberation, 2nd Edition by Shane Radliff, coming September 11th. Back in 2018, when I first published the book you're about to read, I could have never imagined the journey I was about to embark upon. At that time, I had just decided to quit my newly acquired electrician apprenticeship job that I really enjoyed, largely on a whim, and uh, moved to Austin, Texas to live with my former Vanu podcast co-host, Kyle Reardon. So, in the span of a few weeks, the entire trajectory of my life changed. It wasn't planned or even really consciously driven. Uh, it's almost as if my true will was finally going to start making its appearance, uh, whether me or anyone else liked it or not. After a couple of months staying with Kyle in a third-story apartment in uh, North Austin, my situation changed again, and uh, even more radically. He informed me that he and his freemates uh, had found a house and were going to move out ahead of the lease expiring, meaning I would have to take over the exorbitantly priced rent plus utilities on my own uh, if I were to stay there. Needless to say, I sought out other options, uh, rooms to rent on Craigslist, shared housing, cheap options that I could actually afford uh, in the high-priced servile society lifestyle that is Austin. I shared my situation with some friends on social media, and a buddy of mine, Jason Henza, put forth an interesting proposition. At the end of the month, he'd be driving through Austin on his way to Acapulco, Mexico, and that I could ride down and stay with him. He was also generous enough to cover some costs for me since I was in a tumultuous situation financially. Of course, my first thought was, hell no, uh, there's no way that's going to happen. But then again, I really didn't have any other options, uh, and this is exactly the type of adventure I wanted, uh, exactly the type of, of adventure that I needed. I made the minimal preparations that I could and scrounged up as much fiat currency as was available in the meantime. Thankfully, Austin being the mega city it is, uh, it was pretty easy to find a few temporary jobs in the weekends, uh, major events like the uh, Formula, One, Formula One race, uh, business conferences, uh, etc. In addition to a uh, cheap tent camping spot in Liberty Hill for a few weeks uh, before heading really far south. Leaving some personal non vanu experiences aside, uh, we arrived safely in Acapulco and I got to enjoy a couple months uh, with a somewhat large anarchist community uh, in what truly was a tropical paradise. In terms of bludgies and other state agents, it is undoubtedly better for a Vanuan self-liberator. You're usually just one really cheap ride away from your freedom, and if you're a gringo, uh, they're even more likely to leave you alone. Uh, it's even a lot easier to acquire legal, authentic Mexican identification too, uh, whether it's a driver's license, registration, etc., uh, enabling prospects for a simplified second identity. But in terms of private coercion, it really is a dangerous place. Though, worth noting, this private violence is still essentially, essentially state-caused, uh, a result of the war on drugs. Don't forget about the USSA government literally shipping weapons south of the border, too. My time in Acapulco ended in December 2018, uh, but I'd planned on returning for the Acapulco conference uh, that February. About a week after the conference was set to begin, John Galton was killed, and uh, Henza was shot uh, multiple times at John and Lily's house high up on the mountain, a place I spent a lot of time at, and uh, likely would have been at, if I was still in Mexico with Henza. I'm extremely thankful Henza and Lily are still here with us to share their powerful stories, and uh, may John rest in peace. Uh, he was truly a dedicated freedom pioneer. After John's death, I settled back in on what, what is uh, now my homestead in southern Illinois. Uh, working at the family distillery, podcasting, and uh, largely just spending time decompressing alone in the wilderness. Uh, this is what I consider the official start uh, to my liberated lifestyle, a lifestyle wherein my time is my own and I'm free to follow my passions. I made some critical lifestyle changes such as quitting alcohol and adopting a new, much healthier way of eating, and uh, gained a whole new take on life. Uh, the brain fog was entirely gone, I felt amazing, and I discovered my newfound front-running passion, uh, learning about health, the miraculous human body and investigating health modalities to assist individuals in restoring balance in their bodies, uh, that is, uh, reversing so-called disease. But of course, as per the connected nature of this realm, this rabbit hole of health led to the topics of breakthrough free energy, uh, the Pazzi Department of Health and Wellness, uh, which now has an authentic Rife machine, uh, one of George Wiseman's aqua care machines, and uh, other amazing supplements and tools. And in September 2020, uh, the Free Republic of Pazzi was created, a decentralized network of second realms, our own parallel society. My wonderful free wife and I are nearing food cell sufficiency. Our flock currently including a dozen, lamb, dozen or so lambs, a few goats, uh, 30 or 40 birds, chickens, ducks, and turkeys, a uh, half dozen rabbits, a few flourishing gardens, and uh, yearly gatherings of liberation uh, for vetted, traveling, uh, van nomads, and venuans. It's been a hell of a handful of years, but I've accomplished the major objective I set out to achieve uh, when I first started digging into solutions way back in 2015. That is, uh, get out of the 9 to 5 rat race jobs that were literally killing me. 
Of course, I've got much bigger dreams. Uh, living on a sailboat, the eventual acquisition of a decommissioned aircraft carrier for second round purposes, a uh, complete spagyrics, alchemy laboratory, etc. But I'm eternally grateful to be where I am and for all those who have played a part. With the recent release of the audiobook, I've decided to release the second edition, uh, with the entirety of the main content remaining the same. I've added this introduction and an additional chapter at the end with more information, since my experiences are so much greater now. Doing it in this manner means that the audiobook can remain as is, and this uh, additional material tacked on later. Big thanks to Phoenix Aurora and Matthew Workman for their efforts on this. I'll leave it there for now, and let the 2018 version of myself walk you through the most liberating freedom strategy I've ever come across. I wish you the best in your pursuit of freedom, and please do reach out if there's any way I can be of service. Always remember, Bonnie was yours for the making, and the second realm is yours for the building. Cheers from the Free Republic. Shane, Rayo 2, August 2022, The Bonnie Podcast. The second edition of Shane Radliff's Bonnie, A Strategy for Self-Liberation, releases via Liberty under attack publication September 11th. Get the updated, updated book on Banu, and begin, or continue, your journey of liberation today. Pre-order now, libertyunderattack.com forward slash VONU book 2. Again libertyunderattack.com forward slash VONU book 2. And always remember, Banu is yours for the making. Cheers from the Free Republic of Pasnia.